Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Hesch, a physical therapist at Hesch Institute in Aurora, Colorado. And um, we uh, have a client who flew in to see us. And we're going to, on this film, we're just going to focus on the feet and ankles and subtalar joint. So um, when he lays on his stomach with feet off the edge, I stabilize the lower leg here. And I'm evaluating movement of the calcaneus and I can straighten that out a little bit. I can take it to, to almost to a neutral position. I can also twist it and you can see the foot points outward and I would estimate that that's at least 20 degrees and that movement is called abduction of the subtalar joint. Now if we squeeze the ankle together then it reduces a little bit but there is still definitive motion in that direction. Now on the on the right uh, leg he's rather rigid. I can't get much movement trying to push this out into what's called eversion and when I grab the heel and twist it outward you can see that's that's all the movement I can induce. You can see a tiny little bit of that foot pointing outward but that's perhaps five degrees and that's very limited. So this is a restriction of the subtalar joint, which is the joint just above the heel, and it's also the joint that is below the ankle joint. The ankle joint is also called the talocrural joint. So this is a motion restriction, and it affects the rest of his foot and ankle. If you would lie on your back now, please, and keep your feet off the edge. And so, the mid portion of the foot is right here and um, on his left side I can grab his midfoot and I can freely uh, rotate it medially and flatten the arch a little bit and on this side there's a distinct tightness there and that's influenced greatly by the subtalar joint so there's just just very little give here it feels very firm can you feel the difference in that movement yes okay and it looks like we have a visitor, our dog escaped. But um, that's all I want to show right now. We're going to treat him and um, it will take me less than five minutes to restore movement in his midfoot and movement in the subtalar joint. And we will film the results. Thank you.